okay dear students uh, today we are starting a new standard the name of this standard is ifrs 8 operating segments okay now it's a short standard not a big one so first of all need of this standard listen very carefully for example i am dealing in three products shampoo toothpaste and a soap for example so what do you think just think from the point of view of shareholders if i am giving combined total results of all three all three products this is better or should i provide the separate disclosure of each and every product that how much revenue is generated by each product how much profitability is done by each product so what do you think which one is better for shareholder i think the second part that if i if i make separate segment product wise product wise so shareholder will come to know which product is doing better and which product is doing worse or for example if a product is very material if a product is is very very material for the organization and last year it was like 70 percent and this year it is 50 percent so this information is very very important for shareholder so that's why if you prepare segments it is beneficial for shareholder now second example let us say we have only one product we have only one product energy drink okay but we are in three different geographical segments like we are working in india we are working in turkey we are working in united states okay so now what do you think is it better to, to just give a combined results or give a separate geographical location by result like how much revenue is generated by us in us market turkey market so in this way if we make segment shareholder will get better information so that's why we need to we need to prepare segments okay now the next thing is scope of this standard read very carefully only this standard is only mandatory only mandatory for those companies whose equity or debt equity or debt instruments are traded in market means they are they are mandatory for listed company listed company must apply this standard okay but for other companies other companies can apply this standard voluntarily voluntarily like unlisted companies can also apply but no obligation for them they can adopt it voluntarily okay now what is the process what how how we are going to apply how we are going to apply this standard just listen to me and look at me at the screen very carefully first of all we'll walk in we will walk in the organization and we'll try to find out which portions can be operating segments which portion can be can be can be operating segments like which are the portions which can be called operating segments so there are three conditions there are three conditions see the screen which must be fulfilled which must be fulfilled if you want to call a particular portion as a separate operating segment okay so the first condition is that portion is involved in revenue earning activity or incurred expenses that means that portion is generating revenue or it is incurring expenses as well so by using this point we can say that corporate headquarters see this corporate headquarters cannot be operating segments why because the purpose the work the duty of corporate headquarters is to align all other segments is to align it's to manage it's to coordinate all other segments so corporate headquarters normally do not generate any any revenue any external revenue or any re they are not involved in any revenue earning activity that's why corporate headquarters are normally not an operating segment now the second second thing and very important point performance must be checked must be evaluated by a codm 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 the full form of codm c chief operating decision maker that means there must be somebody who is looking after this segment there must be somebody who is allocating resources to this segment there must be somebody who is checking the performance of that segment okay now codm does not necessarily be a person a human being it may be a function it may be a function it may be a department it may be a function it may be a department okay so the second condition is 
its performance must be checked by a CODM. That means somebody is responsible for allocating resources, checking the performance and all these things. Okay. Then number three is separate cash flows, revenue and cost can be identified for you can only call operating segment to a particular portion if if the cash flows cash flows number one revenues and cost are separately identifiable for financial reporting purpose why this condition is there because if the cash flows revenues and cost cannot be separately identified how will you report how will you report it separately to the shareholders how will you report it separately to the shareholders okay so these are the three conditions my dear student which my, all three all three all three must be met all three must be met if you want to call a particular portion as an operating segment now there is one defect there is one criticism in this standard criticism for that standard see see now one fraud if i want to hide one segment for example there is a portion there is a portion which is basically very important which is very important for shareholder and if it is reported separately to the shareholder shareholder will get to know something very important but what i will do <coughs> i will not as an owner of the organization i will intentionally not fulfill these conditions what 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 do you mean by this second condition is in my control this second condition is in my control as an owner of the organization i will not i will not hire a codm i'll not I'll not fix a CODM with this segment. So when there is no CODM, definitely, definitely this will, this won't be an operating segment. This won't be an operating segment. This won't be an operating segment. Okay. So that's why, that's why this is, this is one of the criticism that we can hide. We can hide our segments. One more thing. Now making of segment according to this new standard IFRS 8 making of segment it is in the it is in the discretion of the management see the second condition codm condition it's in the hand of management so all different organization will make different types of segments all different organization will make different types of segment entity company a company b company c some people are hiring codm some people are not so when when this CODM condition is in the hands of entity, so it will impair comparability. Now, different organizations will not be comparable like with like because there is a there is a there is a possibility that entity A has made four segment and entity B should also have made four segment, but they made only two by doing this game by removing CODM. So the C the comparability comparability will be compromised comparability will be compromised now listen this lecture is giving you points to write for the past paper okay these are the things so now let's start again what i taught you today first of all i taught you the need of the standard that can segment segment wise reporting can give better information to shareholders number one then i taught, taught you the scope of this standard then I started the standard like you will enter in the organization and you will find different operating segments. You will tick, you will take different operating segments. And what is the criteria to make a certain portion operating segment? These three conditions. If you meet these three conditions, then that segment is operating segment and you'll take it. You will take it. Okay. Now the next step. Let us say you have ticked, you have ticked seven or eight segments as on operating segments okay now the next thing is whether these segments are separately reportable or not whether these segments are separately reportable or not to report see identification of segment is a different thing reporting it separately is a second step reporting it separately or not it's a separate second step so you can only report it separately if you meet either of them one of them see the see the box only one one see the word if you meet these quantitative thresholds you can you can also call it materiality thresholds you can also call it materiality thresholds if you meet 
these materiality thresholds then only then only then only you are you can report it separately okay so the, there are total three only one you need to meet the first is that segment revenue is 10 percent is 10 percent or more of the total revenue internal plus external of all segments of all segments now use your brain in the numerator in the numerator you will keep in the numerator you will keep revenue revenue of this segment which we are discussing and in the denominator you will write revenue of all the segments so if and you will multiply it by 100 if the answer is coming 10 percent or more 10 percent or more then yes you have passed this test yes you have passed this test okay what is the second if this if the segment profits is 10 percent or more than the total profits of all segments okay now whatever you did whatever you did with the revenue things now you have to do with the profit in the denominator you will write the profit of all the segments in the numerator you will write the profit of this segment which we are talking about and you will do multiply by 100 if the answer is 10 percent or more yes it is separately reportable and in the third case it's about asset the test is about asset this segment asset in the numerator divided by total assets of all segments in the denominator multiply by 100 so if the answer is coming 10 percent or more yes it is separately reportable but listen very carefully you don't need to meet all these three you just have to meet only one of them you just have to meet only one of them to make it separately reportable be careful okay now the next thing which i love it which i love it that's the excellent thing for this standard now then do 75 percent test 75 percent test there is a one more test 75 percent test is based on external revenue now first of all why ifrs 8 introduced this 75 percent test let me give you one example you know who is a good student who is a good student a good student is a student who, who studies all the time or who clears all the paper in first attempt. No. I can say a good student is whose major things are good. This is the rule of world. Major things like majority times he performs good. He's a good guy. Who is a good teacher? A good teacher is that teacher who teaches maximum things good. Not all the things. We cannot go for perfection in this world. Perfection is impossible. So we go for maximization. Who is a nice person who has got good behavior majority of the time? Okay. So in real life, we also see this 75%, 80% goodness test. Okay. So if the major things are good, person is good. If the major things, majority of the things are bad, the person is bad. Okay. So same is the case here. Now, let us say after doing the above two steps, we after doing the above two step, see, we got three separately reportable segments A, B and C. A, B and let us say just imagine segment A, segment B and C. Segment A, B and C, they met the 10% quantitative threshold criteria. So yes, they are separately reportable. Now use now use their external revenue you know the meaning of external revenue for example if a company there is a big company and they are selling internally as well like there are many subsidiaries or many division they are selling to each other as well so within the company sales is called internal revenue within the company sales is called internal revenue but if you are selling it to external people outside the company that is called external revenue so now 75 percent test is strictly based on external revenue i hope you can see this it is based on external revenue i have just highlighted it okay so for example by doing the above steps we made three segments separately reportable a b and c a b and c and the remaining all small segment like five percent three percent two percent we combined it we combined it and they will be called all other segments the name of those segment are all other segment okay so now in the in the screen you can see these are the external revenues these are the external revenues 20 for a 22 for b and 20 for c 20 for a 22 for b and 20 for c okay 
now what you will do how to how to perform this how to perform this external revenue test in the numerator in the numerator you will write in the numerator you will write external revenue of these separately reportable segment which is a b and c so 20 plus 22 plus 20 20 plus 22 plus 20 is 62 divided by total can you do the total total of all segments 20 plus 22 plus 20 plus 38 it's 100 and if you do multiply by 100 the answer is 62 percent so i we can say right now that only 62 percent only 62 percent reporting is done through segment reporting only 62 percent of reporting is done through segment reporting now a standard is not happy the standard says no a standard says minimum listen to me minimum 75 percent see this is the test minimum 75 percent reporting should be done through separately reportable segments so now here the answer is 62 so now what we'll do we'll enter we'll we'll dive listen to me we'll dive in this box we will dive in this all other segments box and we'll make more separate segments we'll make more separate segments now as a student you will ask one question as a student you will ask one clear one clear question from me <coughs> you can ask sir sir the in all other segments these are small these are the combination of a small segment of six percent seven percent eight percent and the rule says that minimum ten percent ten percent threshold must be met yes this is the rule but in order to meet in order to meet this 75 percent test in order to meet this 75 percent test you need to make smaller seg you need to report so smaller segment as well how see the test is 10% the threshold test is 10% separately reportable segment threshold test is 10% so you will enter in all other segment now you will find closer to 10% like 9% 8% so if you find any segment of 9% 8% you will make it sep you will make separate segment and you will keep making it until until you match until you reach 75 percent test until you meet 75 percent test because the standard says the standard says that 75 percent reporting on the basis of external revenue is must okay why they have why they have introduced this 75 percent external revenue test because because it is in the mind of standard board to do maximum reporting through segment to do maximum reporting through segments and this is also good for shareholders this is also good for shareholders so that shareholder can see the company more in detail okay so now what i have taught you just quick recap listen to me number one first of all you'll enter in the organization first of all you'll enter in the organization and you will find operating segments so these are the three condition all three must be met and you will take tick 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 yes this is a operating segment this is operating segment this is you will take tick tick okay once you have identified once you have identified operating segments the next step is you will check whether these segments are separately reportable or not separately reportable or not to so for separate for separate reporting for separately for separate reporting of operating segment you need to meet one of these only one of these these three one of these three quantitative threshold okay once you meet these threshold then you will make segments you will make big segments like 10 10 percent or more which are 10% or more will be separately reportable. So these three, A, B, C, A, B, C are separately reportable and remaining all small one, remaining all small one, you will combine and they, they will be called all other segments. They will be called all other segments. They will be called all other segments. Okay. Then finally, you need to do 75% test but be careful 75 percent test is done on the basis of external revenue only external revenue okay so in this question in this example which i am teaching you right now 75 percent test is not met because 62 is less than 75 62 is less than 75 percent so in this case 
in this case you need to dive you need to dive in all other segments box and you need to make more separately reportable segments even even they are not meeting the 10% threshold then you will pick closer to 10% 9 8 and so on now one more thing is also allowed and that is called aggregation that is called aggregation sometime you combine two segments sometime you aggregate aggregate means combine combining it combining it combining it mixing it okay sometime you combine segment now read the theory this this theory is you need to write in in a past paper as well see aggregation is permitted but not required this is a million dollar wordings aggregation is permitted but not required so aggregation is not mandatory it is your wish aggregation is not mandatory it is your wish it is your wish it is your wish okay right it is allowed when segments when segments share similar economic characteristic this is the this is the tagline of aggregation we can only we can only aggregate we can only combine segments if they share similar economic characteristic for example for example see these are the aggregation criteria for example they have similar customers they are dealing in similar products similar products right that both are related to perfume segment or both are related to smell smell fragrance segments you can combine it okay then similar raw material if in the production process the raw material is same for both both products similar production process if the production process of both the products are sim similar if they have the same distribution channel then if the law making body regulatory body for both segments are same so these are certain hints listen aggregation criteria are hints if you meet majority of the points if you meet majority of the points that means that means now you can aggregate now you can aggregate okay so this is a separate topic aggregation aggregation is permitted yes it is allowed but not required it is not mandatory it is not forced by standard it's your wish but if you want to aggregate you need to meet the aggregation criteria if you want to aggregate two segments or three segments you need to fulfill the aggregation criteria aggregation criteria which is written in front of your screen majority aggregation criteria you need to meet and yes this is the line this is it is allowed it is allowed when segment shares similar economic characteristic similar economic characteristic now one line it is not written here one last line one last line and that line is voluntary line listen let me write stand after all these things we have done all laws 10 percent 75 percent everything everything is done now standard board has shown one flexibility this is this is i love it flexibility you can still report a segment separately if management thinks that reporting of that segment is useful for shareholder see this flexibility after doing all the law things i have we have done law things criteria everything there is one there is one flexibility in the standard they say that you can this is the wish of management management can report a certain segment separately even it is of one percent it's a one percent or two percent of the revenue still you can report it separately if management believes listen my words if management believes that reporting that segment separately would would increase the relevance of financial statement would be useful for shareholder let me give you one example for example we have in our company we were traditionally we were doing everything manually 
but now we have introduced the technology and we have made a segment which is linked to AI artificial intelligence so artificial intelligence is very important thing artificial intelligence is the need of current time artificial intelligence is the need of current time is the need of current time okay so in that case in that case you need to listen to me in that case although it is very very small right right now one percent or two percent but it is important for shareholder that shareholder will see that we are working on innovation our company is working on innovation our company is going with the trend so yes quantitatively it is immaterial but qualitatively it's material so you can report it separately so this last line is about flexibility this last line is about flexibility okay so giving you one minute to read it please check it out what i have taught you geez, just scan scan it just scan it please Please see. See this. Now let me give you one very important thing. Major message of IFRS 8. Major message of IFRS 8 after the introduction of IFRS 8 they say this line make segment according to how you run your business this is the very special tagline make segment according to how you run your business remember remember the word CODM that it's your wish that you can apply CODM it's your wish how you are running your business just just make segment according to that just make segment according to your management wish according to management wish see this was the major change when this standard came means your financial reporting will also follow your cost and management reporting channel now wait 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 let me tell you some history thing wait you will love it history i am writing old standard the name of this new standard is operating segment ifrs 8 is operating segment first listen one thing that i am teaching you something extra extra thing but if you put your efforts you will understand i'll i'll try my best to convey my points okay but still it is it will be useful you know old standard the name of old standard was segment reporting old standard used to say the statement now it's not in your course it like 2005 or 2006 this change came years back 20 25 years back make segments listen this was the make segments according to risk and return to risk and return historically historically this was the tagline historically this was the tagline and now what is the tagline now ifrs say it says make segment make segments according to how you run your make segments 
according to how you run your business very very important wait now let me one one benefit Listen, 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 listen. Don't worry. <laughs> Just think. Years back, years back, there was no IFRS aid. At that time, at that time, there is one thing which which we call cost and management accounting. For cost and management accounting, it's our wish. In cost and management accounting, there are no IFRS. It's all it's all your wish. So, for example. There is a company who is doing product wise reporting, product wise segment reporting for cost and management accounting purpose. Okay. But in that time, like 20, 25 years back, we have to make segments for financial reporting. For financial reporting, we have to make segment according to risk and return. According to risk and return, which one is high risky, which one is low risky. Okay. So just think 20, 25 years back, that financial reporting need says, to make segment geographically to make segments geographically according to risk and return because this is the this was the ifrs at that time so now for financial reporting purpose for financial reporting purpose we are making we are making segments geographically but for cost and management accounting purpose cost and management the management is do, doing reporting product wise so just think in the end when ceo or or chairman will write the report ceo or chairman will also address write the report ceo and chair, chairman will get he is a part of management so he reports management accounting he reports management accounting segments and he will he will write his report according to the management accounting segments so in the ceo report in the ceo or chairman report in the ceo or chairman report they will cover they will cover product wise reporting product wise reporting but just saying in the financial reports in the financial reporting segments will be on the basis of risk and return and they were ge geographical segments so just think the clash there will be a big clash there would be a big 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 clash between ceo and chairman report and your financial reporting segments but now but now after the introduction of ifrs 8 what they say they say make segment according to how you run your business what does it means it means you have already made the management accounting channel you have every company has a management accounting channel you have you already have a management accounting channel with codm with reporting with allocation of resources just just copy paste copy paste those management accounting segments into the financial reporting segments so now now there will be less hard work for accountant now they don't need to make separate segments for financial reporting purpose why because whatever they have made for cost and management accounting whatever they have made for cost and management accounting just copy paste just copy paste it for financial just copy paste it for financial reporting segments so now same segments are there so now if ceo or ceo or chairman will write the report so if ceo follows the management accounting pattern now it's automatically it's automatically financial accounting pattern as well so this will be a very big benefit that the quality of financial financial reports will be improved quality of financial reports will be improved okay are you getting one more thing extra i would say you, you will find in your in the ifrs book or study text let's let me explain if a segment is less than 10 percent last year so not separately reportable
but this year it has grown or you crossed 10% threshold so now separately reportable see this case so now you will go in past now you will show this segment as a separately reportable segment in last year comparatives i hope you understood with with my headings listen if there is a segment it in last year it was only six percent okay so because of six percent it was not separately reportable so it was part of all other segment all other segment that box but now this year this segment is more than ten percent cross the ten percent threshold so now that segment is separately reportable so now if you making account this year this year and reporting and reporting this segment separately separately okay so you need to show so you need to show this segment separately in the last year comparative as well so that shareholder can compare and find the information find the right information okay now you need to report it in the last year comparative as a separate as a separate segment okay now next thing one one thing is very good just think if a segment see this line if a segment has a customer who is who is generating 10 percent revenue of the whole organization yes i sometimes ask this question from my students for example just for your example let us say my annual earning as my i teacher uh, my annual earning is like hundred thousand us dollar for example just Take a ballpark figure my annual earning is hundred thousand dollars so which option is better i make this hundred thousand dollars by teaching one thousand students by teaching one thousand students and making hundred one thousand one hundred thousand dollars and or should i make hundred thousand dollar by teaching only one student if one student came comes to me and he says sir leave all these one thousand students just teach me and i will alone give you i will alone give you hundred thousand dollars so should i accept this offer yes or no no why because teaching only one student is very risky teaching only one student is very risky if that student goes away my whole revenue will be washed up i'll be zero but teaching 1000 students is less risky teaching 1000 student is less risky because out of this 1000 if 100 students goes away still i will have 900 students you are getting so less risky to teach more more to deal with more people okay so same is the case here if only one single customer is so important that it is making it is giving you 10 percent of the total revenue of the organization then this fact you need to disclose so it's so that so that shareholder comes to know about the risk profile of the organization but yes you don't need to disclose the customer name you don't need to disclose customer's name that is not needed you don't need to disclose customer name you don't need to disclose customer's name okay right now let's do let's do one practical question normally normally it is very rare that practical things comes in the exam but yes still you can you can do it so i just taught you the 10 percent threshold test and 75 percent test okay 
and this question which is in, in on your screen it's i have taken from icaw book icaw book and you know the accounting standard in strategic business reporting and icaw reporting and ifrs diploma reporting almost they are same so this is the question students this is the question you can see on the screen uh, just keep your calculator with you keep your calculator with you okay the question is almost solved so we do we won't be wasting much time on it but effectively you will understand individual a public limited company trades in six 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 business areas which are reported separately in its internal accounts internal account see so now internal and external accounts are same you make you make you make your segments according to how you run your business provided to chief operating decision maker provided to chief operating decision maker c o d m c o d m okay the results of these segments the results of these segments for the year ended 31st december x5 are as follows listen to me this is the first segment this is the first segment second third fourth fifth and sixth these are the six segments can you see can you see the six segments these are the six segments okay now first of all which what is the requirement which of the operating segments of endeavor constitute a reportable operating segment reportable means separately reportable reportable means separately reportable now you only need to conduct that 10 percent test only only need to conduct the 10 percent test for separately reportable now let's start with the first we'll do the revenue test revenue test okay leave about the profit leave about the profit and other columns just see just see the revenue test and yes for 10 percent test for 10 percent test external and internal revenue both should be included for 10 percent test external and internal revenue both must be included both must be included this is important line i'm telling you okay so now what's the game the total the total external and the total internal revenue can you see these two if you add these two it's 238 it's 238 you can see now add these add these or or i would say add these two it's the same thing it's the same thing so on 14 plus 7 plus 56 plus 3 or you call it 21 plus 59 so 21 plus 59 on the denominator sorry numerator 21 plus 59 on the numerator and in the denominator you will write 238 in the denominator you will write this 238 multiply by 100 can anybody please apply your calculator i am also doing 21 plus 59 divided by 238 it's 33.6% 33.6% yes it it met it met your test it met your test it met your test okay i give you one more uh, shortcut c this is 238 just multiply it by 10 percent this is a shortcut i this is a mathematic uh 238 multiplied by 10 percent is 23.8 and yes 23.8 these two numbers 21 plus 59 is greater than 23.8 so automatically it met it met the test automatically it met the test only for those those who can understand this maths so yes yes chemical section is separately reportable according to the as they have met the revenue test only one test is more only one test is enough here 10 percent okay please check it out i'll show you the other results as well see this this is the solution so chemicals it's 33.6 percent okay yes it met for pharmaceutical wholesale now you can do it yourself it's you are no more kids it's 28.2 percent you can use in uh, but pharmaceutical retail it's only 9.2 percent so not met according to revenue not met according to revenue not met but yes body care met body care 
met right if you want to do it just pause the screen and apply the numbers you will got it okay so if i say about revenue if i say about revenue test chemicals are separately reportable pharmaceutical wholesale is separately reportable and body care is separately reportable but pharmaceutical retail cosmetic and hair care are not separately <coughs> reportable now now one interesting thing we are going to do interesting it's interesting new learning for you let's let's start this profitability let's start this profitability test see see the screen in profitability there are certain companies they are in profit and certain companies are in loss see this company let me change the color this is profit both profit profit this is loss this is profit profit this is loss okay okay are you getting so if there are certain companies which are in profit and certain companies which are in loss so how to tackle so first of all do one thing calculate all the companies with pure profits add all the profits so 1 13 9 2 and 4 these are only profit please use your calculator 1 plus 13 plus 9 plus 2 plus 4 this will give you 29 this will give you see this pure profit pure profit is 29 okay now calculate the pure losses pure losses this 6 is pure loss and this 2 is pure loss so now add these two loss 6 and 2 is 8 so loss is 8 now okay so certain segments with profits pure profits and certain segment with pure loss just total it pure separately now write higher off now write higher off which one is higher 29 is higher or 8 is higher 29 okay so now whatever will be the higher amount will become your denominator whatever will be the higher amount will become your denominator okay so our denominator now it's 29 now use your common sense our denominator now is 29 okay now just use your brain simply put the profit or loss profit or loss anything of each segment on the numerator so for the first segment your profit is 1 plus 13 1 plus 13 is 14 so the fraction will be 14 upon 29 into 100 14 upon 29 into 100 it's 48.3 percent it's 48.3 percent yes it met the 10 percent threshold see this this is 48.3 percent let's do for the second one the second one the profit is for the second one segment the profit is 9 profit is 9 so 9 upon 9 upon 29 multiplied by 100 is equal to 31 percent 9 upon 29 into 100 is equal to 31 percent yes it also met the criteria but see the third segment you have a loss in the third segment you have a loss of two so don't don't worry just put the loss just put the loss on denominator and 29 is the fixed denominator multiplied by 100 which is 6.9 percent now this is less this is less than 10 percent this is less than 10 percent okay so i hope i i conveyed my message to you so again cosmetic is 6.9 but yes hair care is good and body care is also good body care again met okay same is the case you will do with the assets same is the case with you will do with the assets now let's jump on the conclusion jump on the conclusion quickly it's not big deal and this is not a past paper it's a book question so yes chemicals see the screen chemicals met all the three we have to meet, meet only one only one is enough but chemical met all the three so yes chemical the see chemical is separately reportable simple chemical is separately reportable okay chemical is chemical is separately reportable okay so my dear students so chemical is separately reportable just then pharmaceutical wholesale yes met all three is also separately reportable yes then body care also body care body care met all three 
body care is also separately reportable are you getting now hair care yes hair care is also met, also met this miss met this 13.8 percent so hair care is also separately reportable hair care is also separately reportable now you need to write few lines for this cosmetic and hair care so, sorry body care uh, my mistake no 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 hair care now we need to write few lines for cos cosmetic and pharmaceutical retail because cosmetic and pharmaceutical retail cosmetic and pharmaceutical retail did not meet did not meet the quantitative threshold did not meet the quantitative threshold and it's a very easy discussion very easy discussion just be confident we have studied everything see see this this is the discussion read the pharmaceutical retail segment is not separately reportable as it does not meet the quantitative thresholds very simple basic basic discussion however however still still it will be reported as a separate operator if management believes remember the voluntary point voluntary point we can do voluntary anything management believes that information about the segment would be useful to users of the financial statement okay so if you want to report it voluntarily on the basis that this segment is useful for shareholder report it this is allowed i have taught you this the group could consider amalgamating amalgamating means remember the aggregation the aggregation amalgamating it with pharmaceutical wholesale segment because both are pharmaceutical both are pharmaceutical because both have similar economic characteristic providing the two operating segments have similar economic characteristic and share a majority of aggregation criteria aggregation criteria ex excluding there is one difference the type of customer may be the case otherwise it would be disclosed in all other segments very easy very easy listen first of all what we have discussed four points number one it's not separately reportable because less than 10 percent number two if you want to go for voluntarily voluntarily separately reportable segment you can do it anytime anytime it is allowed number three you can also think of combining it with pharmaceutical wholesale because both are pharma both are pharma but there is one difference that the customer for wholesale is different and the customer for retail is different okay and finally if you want if you don't want to do anything then it will be part of a box you remember the box all other segment that's it same thing you have to write for cosmetic same thing you have to write for cost cosmetic see same lines the cosmetic segment does not meet the quantitative threshold and therefore it is not separately therefore it is not separately reportable it can also be reported separately if management believes that the information would be used see again useful and this is the voluntary point alternatively the group may be able to amalgamate it with body cares other segments other segments if you meet if you meet all majority of the economic characteristic majority of the economic characteristic okay and share a majority otherwise otherwise the last option the last it would be the part of the box of all other segments okay so in this way you need to write in this way you need to write it okay Now one more short past paper. Years back it came in SBR. Years back it came in SBR and it's pure theoretical paper. So theor theoretical question. And it's about, it's about, it's about amalgamation. It's about aggregation. Okay. So you will practically feel aggregation here. In its in its annual financial statements, in its annual financial statement for the year ended 31st march 2013 verge this is the name of the company a public limited company had identified the following operating segments had identified the following operating segments okay segment one is local train operation segment two is intercity train operation segment three is railway construction now see 
the company disclose let me give you one very important information this standard is the disclosure standard okay the these all segments we have to make not on the face of the financial statement it we make these these segments in the disclosure area disclosure this is the standard of disclosure okay the company disclosed two reportable segments segment one and two were aggregated right so what they did listen 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 they aggregated this segment one and two this is what they have done and yes segment three they have written separate segment three is separate now we have to discuss that whether they have done correct whether amalgamating it whether segment one and whether combining segment one and two is a good idea or a bad idea see we have to apply standard so segment one and two were aggregated into a single reportable segment operating segment operating segment one and two have been aggregated on the basis on the basis that's their words of their similar business characteristics similar business characteristic and nature of their products and services yes both are related to railway train okay but now see the business deal see the how they are the business model in the local in the local in the local train in the local in the local train market it is the local transport authority transport authority means government just use your brain it is government it is the local who which awards the contract and pays verge for its services that means in the first segment one local train operation in the local train operation customer does not give us money fixed amount we receive fixed amount we receive from government fixed amount we receive from government in the local train market contracts are awarded following a competitive tender process we need to submit the tender and then we get the then we get the contract and ticket prices paid by and the ticket and the ticket prices paid by passengers are set by and paid to the transport authority that means everything will go in the pocket of government in the local train everything will go in the all the revenue will go in the pocket of government and government will give us fixed amount government will give us fixed amount okay but see now in the intercity let me change the, in the intercity this segment this segment intercity see in the intercity market ticket prices are set by verge and the passengers pay verge for the services provided big difference big difference between the business model big difference it in one segment in segment one we are earning fixed from the government in the segment two we are earning variable give me giving you one example very practical example i gave this example many times to my students listen for example i am a teacher and this is very routine in different part of parts of the world in the morning let us say i go to a school and i teach like morning eight to one eight to eight to one and i charge a fixed salary i charge a fixed salary from the school but the even in the evening i give tuitions to my students in my own center whatever students pays me it goes in my pocket in the evening so do you think the business model for the morning school and the evening classes are same no big difference the quality will be different the services will be different the strategies will be different everything will be different everything will be different so the what they are saying so that means the economic characteristic the economic characteristic of these two segments are not same the economic characteristic of these two segments are not same at all at one end we are earning fixed salary fixed amount and on the other end we are we are making big amount directly from the customer we are there is a risk risk is different in the first one we are getting fixed so no risk in the second one we are we are bearing the passenger revenue risk we are bearing the passenger revenue risk see this so how to write this question you can see on the screen first of all you you all know first of all you need to write this rule the rule the is 
so this question is about aggregation so aggregation lines we have to write remember these lines let me show you these are the aggregation lines yes these are the aggregation lines all these lines you have to write all these aggregation criteria you have to write but i didn't write all these points it's time wasting but just telling you that you have to write these points see this according according to ifrs 8 see the screen those segments which meet the quantitative thresholds criteria then the segment must be reported separately the introduction then ifrs 8 also permits so remember the line permits but not required it's not mandatory it's permits they have permitted us to aggregation aggregation of segment aggregation of segment possible if they are if they have same this is the tagline if they have same if they have same economic characteristic if they have same economic characteristic okay and this and meets the majority aggregation criteria i have just written point number one two three four i have just written point number one two three four five but i have just showed you now so you have so see this is the application this is the final application final application verge has aggregated words what they have done first we have to write verge has aggregated both local train operation and intercity on the basis of the same according to them according to them the economic characteristics are, are same but this is not the case which is not the case see we have straight away denied we have straight away denied why now in the local train operation contract is awarded following a tender process and prices of rates are set by local authority local authority the government and the revenue is earned by local authority local authority charges those price from customers means verge is taking fixed amount from local authority so it's a fixed income game but in the intercity train verge is directly involved with customers verge is directly involved with customers word sets the price word sets the price and word sets the price of routes and charges from customers means decisions of words in intercity is motivated from demand of customers and words faces passenger revenue risk words faces passenger revenue risk so the total the total business model is different the total business model the total risk are different when these when this is such a big difference of earnings earning model so we cannot say we cannot conclude that the economic characteristic of these two are same it's not same so we will deny it that it's not allowed this is this merging is not 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 according to ifrs 8 this merging is not according to ifrs 8 okay now one last question last question of today's class this was also a past paper but right remember one thing this is not a past paper class i have recorded past papers separately for you guys many past paper there is a separate section in your lms okay Clancet, a public limited company, is a pharmaceutical company and is seeking advice on several financial reporting issues. Okay. Clancet, Clancet produces and sells its range of drugs through the three separate divisions. In addition, there are two laboratories which carry out research and development. Okay. So, just use your mind. There are three drug stores. We have three division, three drug store. And on at the back of these drug stores, there are two laboratories. There are two laboratories for research and development. Now, this question is not about the division. This question is about laboratories. We have to we have to conclude that these laboratories are separately reportable segments or not. This is the question. Okay. See the see the requirement. This is the requirement. This is the requirement. See this, Clancet is uncertain as to whether the research and development laboratories should be reported as two separate segments under IFRS 8 and would like advice on this issue, okay? So, there are two paragraphs. This is the first one. 
and this is the second one so by looking at these two paragraphs we have to conclude we have to conclude whether these are separately reportable segments or not okay so in the front there are three drug stores there are three divisions of drug stores and at the back of it there are two laboratories now in the first of these in the first of these let me enlarge it in the first of these laboratories the research and development activities funded is funded internally and centrally for each of the three sales divisions okay these sales divisions contributes the funds for research and development in the laboratory one in the first laboratory it does not carry out research and development research and development activities for other entities oh very big very big point that means they are not earning in revenue earning activity they are not involved this segment is not involved in revenue earning this is the major point see it's only providing services internally it's only providing services internally not involved in revenue earning activity big point so it's not it's not even meeting the definition of segment it's not even meeting the definition of segment each of the three division is given a budget allocation which it uses to purchase research and development activ activities from the laboratory that means it looks like this laboratory is only providing it's only for the for the betterment of the drug stores for the drug divisions it is only supporting i would use the better word it this laboratory is only supporting these three divisions okay right the laboratory is directly the laboratory is directly accountable the laboratory is directly accountable to the division heads for this expenditure to the division heads for this expenditure right so that means there is no cadm there is no cadm there is no codm the major point there is no codm see the laboratory heads directly the laboratory head directly checks the performance so there is no separately reporting 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 guidelines there is no budget allocation separately there is no codm chief operating decision making so everything is missing and the most important point it's not involved it's not involved in revenue earning activity so now wait 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 let me let me jot down those points first laboratory not no separate codm no separate CODM. Looks no discussion on quantitative thresholds. There is no discussion on quantitative thresholds as well. So it's look like it's just supporting these divisions so not a uh, an operating segment it's not an operating segment and it should not be reported separately okay this is the conclusion on the on the basis of these points now come to the second laboratory the second laboratory the second please check it out the second laboratory performs contract investigation activities for other other external other external laboratories and pharmaceutical companies yes it is involved in revenue earning activity this laboratory earns 75% is revenue from external customers. See, big revenue from external. 
and these external revenues represents 18 percent 18 percent of the yes more than 10 percent more than 10 percent so yes they have met the quantitative threshold the performance of the second laboratory activities of the three separate division is leg regularly reviewed by codm yes 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 all conditions are met codm is also there in addition to the heads of division there is a head of second laboratory the head of the second laboratory is directly accountable to the codm that means there is a manager there is a manager of this laboratory as well which is directly connected to codm and they discuss the operating activities allocation of resources see financial results everything is checked everything is checked so very easy very easy to conclude on the basis of these points that this is a separately reportable segment yes laboratory second laboratory is a see these are easy questions these are real past papers separately reportable segment Okay, so now let me write for the second laboratory. Second laboratory. Number one, yes, it is involved in revenue earning activity because it is written in the uh, in the second paragraph that it is providing services to the external laboratories and pharmaceutical companies. It has a CODM. It has a separate manager. Which indicates. Performance. Reviews and all. And number four it meets it meets the quantitative threshold of 10 percent that's why laboratory 2 is a separately reportable segment okay i hope you got it not not a difficult one not a difficult one okay but yes i have not given the introduction in the introduction in the introduction you need to write the is in the introduction you need to write in in the introduction of this question you need to write what makes an operating segment so remember the three conditions three conditions it is involved in revenue earning activity <clears throat> number two it has a codm and number three its financial results are separate its financial results are separately it's it has a separate financial results of cash flows revenues and can be calculated separately so in the introduction you need to write this okay so please uh, make notes for this class as well and try to work hard now you have less time in the exams best of luck for your exams thank you take care